To be real with y'all, part of the reason I went to California recently in the first place was because I knew it would be easier for me to cop drugs. American Airlines Center. Dallas, Texas. Um, it's March 31st today, but by the time y'all are watching this, it's April, so happy April. Happy 04 the month before my my birthday. Crazy how time goes by. I was on Facebook last night, and I, I kind of want to share this uh, thing that I saw. It says, before you judge an addict, put your phone down for 24 hours, and every time you think about it, that's what it that's what it feels like, and I couldn't agree more with, with that. Sometimes it's every five minutes. Sometimes I have a good spurt where I can go a week or so, but um, more often than not, it always ends up coming back up, and that's just part of being an addict. Thank God for parking garages. I freaking love today's time lapse. I'm telling y'all, it's the part. Let's just see how much uh, this ticket costs today. Ten dollars? What do you mean, ten dollars? Turkey trot for lunch. I've actually already reviewed this, you know, just grilled cheese, turkey, bacon. We are definitely going to have to run some orders later to make up for that $10 freaking time lapse. But I kind of wanted to get into like why I'm just now getting into the program again and getting into recovery. You know, like I used hard drugs for eight freaking years and it wasn't until my, my own drug dealer told me that I needed help, you know? And so, uh, you know, I went to, I went to Florida and that's kind of where my, my life changed. You know, I went to rehab like three different times i went to outpatients like probably five times i started going to meetings i started meeting like-minded people and i could just see change in in my life and i started to really work on myself and you know obviously i ended up leaving florida and you know i started doing this thing called pink clouding it or white knuckling it where basically you stop doing everything that you are doing in recovery um, and doing to help yourself and kind of just living on the on the edge and just praying that you know you, d you don't relapse and um remember you want me i try to work 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 but it doesn't work i try to say something but there's a word i try to justify my actions less reactions hotel in Dallas and a maid got me all the way to the very top four this this is what it looks like <clears throat> oh, see this is why I freaking love gig economy because you just never know what crazy kind of situations you're gonna be put in but anyways it's it's honestly a miracle that I've stayed sober as long as I have the past couple of years especially with my absence from working a program um, I think what's ultimately helped keep me sober um is you know god probably running and exercise staying busy like traveling and and working constantly um you know virtual mentors like on the internet and reading books but i think the most important one is uh my morning motivation you know i read something um related to my higher power every morning i read the aa 24 hours and the na just for today and it gives me something to go off of for the rest of the day but all that said you know, it clearly wasn't a enough for me because, um... I'm slowly fading through the smoke I can't hear myself think Now every day since I woke up I can finally see
You know, there's been a ton of times um, since leaving Florida in 2019 where I've almost relapsed. Uh, matter of fact, just to be real with you all, part of the reason I went to California recently in the first place was because I knew it would be easier for me to cop drugs and, you know, by the grace of God, thankfully, I, I didn't relapse in California. Um, you know, and a lot of people would actually consider me to have relapsed already um, within my, this three year period because I've, I've drank alcohol. And you know, the, the program that I'm currently working requires complete abstinence from any mind altering substance. And that's something that I'm kind of struggling with right this second. Um, but if that's what it takes, then I don't have a problem going without, you know, I rarely drink as it is. Oh. That was the Dallas Arboretum and Botanical Garden. I'd actually never been there before. Um, super beautiful, but cost way too much. A like would be appreciated, and there's a whole bunch of different ways down in the de description below to support the channel. Um, you know, recently, I finally kind of got to a point where I just started to feel like I was missing something in my life. And, you know, it could have been community. It could have been the step work I'm working. It could have been... Um, meetings. It could have been just working on myself as far as a program goes, but I think the most important thing really is to keep what we have, we must give it away freely. Um, so, so the newcomers, so the people that are new to the whole program or are struggling or are in active addiction right now. And I just can't help but think about all of the meetings and opportunities um, as far as recovery goes, to go out and share kind of my story and, you know, in the hopes that maybe someone could take something away from it or even potentially save, save someone's life. For, for dinner it's a salad and grain bowl I always feel like I'm running late nowadays um I just pulled up to uh, my, one of my meetings um I'm gonna go to this and uh, I will check back with y'all here in a second this is Glencoe Park um not sure if y'all can see that it's just a, a park in, in in Dallas here um that I was parked at in this exact same spot um, four years ago and I was struggling really really hard with um, a drug my drug addiction um, and I came here to talk to my camera it's on a video called what it's like being a drug addict part two of three that y'all can actually see um, and watch me me struggling through my addiction and it's just it's crazy to see how far I've, I've personally come in, in my recovery. Um, the meeting was awesome. Uh, we talked about the 12th step and the phrase, you know, faith without works is, is dead. And I couldn't relate more to, to, to that. It's basically everything I've been talking about in this video. It's like, I've got, you know, the, the praying and higher power thing, like, down. It's just, I never really put one foot in front of the other to actually put in the work to, for, for the growth. I would just, you know, I just kept complaining. Why isn't this working or that working? You and, know, and that's exactly kind of what I ended up sharing at, at the meeting. Um, I'm just honestly getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm ready to, to like put in the work to, 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 to put one step in front of the other and actually work the steps and, and progress forward. You know what I mean? <clears throat> because I am a person that needs outside help, um, whether it's recovery or, or a program. I know there's a lot of people out there that have gone through certain segments in their lives, short or long, where they were able to just stop, okay? And I using drugs and I am just not one of those people <clears throat> and and for the longest time um, I felt a lot of shame and judgment um, about being someone that 
had to do this about just being an addict in general heck even some of my friends and family just didn't understand it or, or, or think that I needed it but I can't let it affect me anymore I have to do what is best for me and if they don't want to understand that then that's okay you just got to do what's best for you and with that said I am going to bed I hope y'all took something away from from this video or maybe I taught someone something new and you know I guess this is kind of a way for me to give back you know it's just posting my own experiences on on this channel and my recovery and what I'm doing to help myself you know um, I don't t I don't like to ask for things on such an important topic like this but it'd mean a lot if you would like this video maybe share it maybe it's, it could reach out to someone that um, that maybe could use the help and um, there there is a lot of ways to support the channel down in the description below and I love y'all thanks for watching and hanging out with me today and we will see you on